Hey, we are uh, here in St. Louis. It's day seven, Pablo across America. Yeah. It's the afternoon. We're kicking back here in the hotel, um, doing what you do when you ride your bike all day and then take a day off, which is a whole lot of nothing. That's right. Very enjoyable. Like you eat a lot and then you wonder if you ate too much and then you keep eating anyway and then you drink like six gallons of water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So our afternoon dedication is is always uh, is always focused on kids who are off treatment, who are um, uh, NED, no evidence of disease, um, which is where John's son Brock is right now, which is where he's going to stay for the rest of his life. And then when he's like, well, he doesn't even have to be our age. He could be like 16. That's right. 15. He, he'll be out here with us when we're like 70. That's right. Um, our butt. Wait, yeah. hold on. we're going to be like 56. I, I don't know. I don't want to. I'm not arrested. I'm not doing the math. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you want to you wanna sure. tell us who our kids are Absolutely. today? Absolutely. The first one, uh, I love these because they're from my home hometown right now. Uh, Natalie James, who was diagnosed in 2006 with AML. Uh, had a relapse in 2008, uh, not uncommon for leukemia kids, underwent bone marrow transplant soon after, and is doing great. She's 12 and kicking butt, and these are the stories I really get motivated about because that's kind of where my son is, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, great job, Natalie, and uh, love you. Have fun out in North Bend. Hopefully you're climbing Mount Si this weekend, <laughs> <laughs> getting uh, kicking your parents' butts up the hill, and uh, congrats. We love to hear that you're that you're in good shape. Uh, the next one up oh, is uh, Paige Pedersen, also from the Seattle area, which is great. Uh, was diagnosed with ALL in 2008. Uh, she just finished her chemo in January of this year. And for those who aren't sure, I just said 2008 is 2011. Yeah. And she's just done with chemo. That is an epic journey for yeah. folks. And she's done. That's a huge win. Yeah. Congrats on that. Uh, and you just had your birthday. So happy birthday to you. Uh, it was last Saturday. Uh, and by now, you've probably finished off all the cake, working on the <laughs> presents, and trying to fit that in with school. So is congratulations. Is there a cake around here somewhere? Oh, I that, wish there was. I unplugged that thing last night. It was driving me crazy. Yeah. It was driving me crazy. So um, we are going to hit the road again tomorrow. Um, I'm sure John knows exactly where we're going, the wind. The temperature variables, I don't know anything. It's in the 60s. Hopefully we get a tailwind. We're going to Mount Vernon, Illinois. Population 15,000. Just a little bigger than my hometown in Green River, Wyoming. So we're going back across the Mississippi. We're heading, heading east. Today there were 30 mile an hour uh, tailwinds uh, for the route that we're going. Unfortunately, they're going to go a little bit lower tomorrow. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, 30 just, miles an hour? I would, be, I would be stoked to hit those. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, have a good day. Take care.